Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This is the second video in a series of videos about how I use Wacom's on-screen controls or radial menu to work in a very clean uh, environment inside of Painter. Uh, so yesterday we uh, the video was done yesterday, and I don't usually like to wait a day, but circumstances caused it. So yesterday, this is where we ended. I'd only put on one brush stroke of color. And since I've opened, I didn't do anything in Painter after I closed it. When I open it back up, everything should be the same as it was last time. So I know that I want to put another layer of color here, and I would like to put it on a separate watercolor layer. So I'm just going to go to my layers menu and then add a new watercolor uh, layer. I want to probably change the uh, paper that I'm using. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the panels that I like to show and that will give me an opportunity to change the paper. I want to, and I could do it with the papers panel as well. And I am going to open up the papers panel because I want to see uh, what I'm putting here. Now, right now, this is set up the same way it was yesterday. And I think I told you there's a script from David Gell that you can click on and that would restore it to its default settings. I'm going to switch to this brush, uh, this paper here. And I'm pretty familiar with this one, so I'm not going to uh, do a... Oops, I just did. <laughs> okay, so we cancel that. It's going to give me black, and I want to undo. Okay. Now that I've fixed my little mistake there, um, I'm, I'm still with very wet 01 brush. Uh, I was telling you that I'm okay with this paper. I, I don't need to look at it, show paper. Um, so I'm ready to really paint. Um, and let's just close this stuff again because, I, I again, I'm, I keep opening up things that I probably wouldn't normally. All right. Uh, so let's make this brush a little bigger. And I'm going to come in about here. Start with a light color, light gray rather, and I'm going to increase the gray or the black about like that. Now, I didn't stop the diffusion because I knew I was just going to do one kind of uh, brush. And let's see how this works out. It's giving me some sort of interesting texture down here. Um, I'm glad that it's darkening up some. I didn't want it to be too bright. Uh, and you know, I, I kind of like that. Um, so let's, let's stay with this for the moment. Okay, so what I want to do next is I want to put in a sky, and I, I'm kind of confused right now. Um, of where I am. Oops, I need to get back to Painter. And let's um, open this up. All right, so I'm on Watercolor 3. Um, that's fine. I want to put in a sky, but I want to put in the sky on another watercolor layer. So I'll add a new watercolor layer. I'm going to change papers. So let's open up the paper panels and I want to go to some paper down here. I think it's this one. We're going to assume that's the paper I want. And let's look at the a layers menu one more time because what I'd like to do is I need to see what this looks like. So let's take this and we will turn these off. Go to the canvas layer. I need my little script. So we'll open up the panels and I will click on show paper. 
Well, that's not going to work for kind of a cloudy sky. So let's take this up to about 200. Somewhere along there. And let's delete that. Take another look. Better. But I think I want to go up bigger. Let's go to about almost 300. Well, 300. I hit it right on the mark. So let's see what that looks like. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's take the paper contrast all the way up. Yeah, that's giving us a little bit more activity. And let's invert. I think if I remember correctly, I never can remember, but I'm pretty sure that the paint goes into the white areas if you've got a real grainy brush. Let's assume that that's where I want to be at the moment. So now what I want to do is let's just um, let me get my layers panel back. And I want to open these back up, come back up to watercolor four, which is where I want to be working. And let's look at, we'll get rid of the layers panel. Let's look at our brushes. And I think I have another brush down here. Yeah, I want to use this wet grainy value brush. Again, we'll just double check to make sure that I'm in gray and black. This is where I want to be because this says value. That means that it is using color expression. And so I have the black as the secondary color and the gray as the main color. Okay, so we should be ready to paint um, at this point. So I've got this brush. And now this brush is a watercolor brush, not a real watercolor brush, so I can't use pause diffusion. So whatever I come up with, uh, I mean, I've got to keep painting until I'm ready to let it diffuse. And once I stop painting, it will diffuse. Uh, this brush is kind of streaky too, which it will show those streaks, but not too bad because it's watercolor. You know, the, the, what I refer to or what I've heard people refer to as version seven watercolor, meaning it's the old technology, not the new real watercolor. And so it's going to disperse or diffuse in a way that um, will cover this stuff. Now, I also like to stop the diffusion when I want to stop it, not when it wants to stop. Okay, so that means I'm going to need to open up my layers and go to H2O and I'm going to use dry watercolor layer when it diffuses where I want it to. Working with this type of brush too, you can press the space bar and that will cause it to run a little faster. I don't know if you saw that or not. But that's about where I want to be. I don't want, to want this to run a lot. So I'm going to draw the watercolor layer. And uh, I like the look of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new watercolor layer. And then I'm going to come to the... Uh, I want to come to my paper panel and I'm going to reduce the size of this to about 200. I think that's what I want. Um, everything else is remaining the same except the size. 
So then let's go up here and paint again. Now this time it should paint, you know, give me a different kind of look. In other words, it'll cover up some of those lighter cloudy parts. And give us a little bit of a, another run. And it's going to be kind of dark. And I'm not going over the whole area I did before, but again, I need to get ready to dry the layer. Let's let this run a bit. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to dry the layer. Okay, now we don't need our paper panel. Let's open up my layers panel. And let's go to this. Let's turn that one off. And we're going to go to this first one that we did. And it is too strong. So we want to drop the intensity of it to about like that. Then I want to open this one up and I'm going to drop it too. The trick is which one needs to be stronger or less strong. You know what, at times like this, I, I really need to look, make it look little, and then I can get a better idea of, uh, make it look little, uh, I can get a better idea of looking at the whole image when I make it small. It's like, it's like stepping back from the image about 10 or 20 feet and reviewing And I think that is where I want to be. Um, how many times would I have to zoom in? That's about right. Okay, I like how that looks at the moment. So what I'm going to do is take these two and I'm going to drop them uh, to the canvas. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift them to a watercolor layer. And then I want to drag this layer down below my uh, paper layer. And now that they're together, I can actually reduce their intensity and I get this very nice diffuse sort of look and I want it to be pretty light and then I want to come to the first one I did because it's back further in the plane and I'm going to reduce its opacity as well and then I'm going to leave the one in the front dark. I think I've gone a little bit too much here. And again, um, I'm going to, I'm using the mouse's wheel right now. Drop back and look at how that looks. If I make this lighter. If I do that, this has got to be a little bit lighter, too. See, because I, I want to differentiate between that, and I don't like that that dark. So I want to come back. You know, this is just fiddling. Make that a little bit darker. And actually, it, it went back pretty well. So 
originally. And I'll sit here and play with this until uh, the cows come home. And we probably shouldn't do that. Probably need to go in and save this image. That's always a good idea. And so I'm just going to do an iterative save so that I have my original image from the first video. And now this is the iterative save from the second video. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.